Hi you guys, welcome back to North Wales. So today's video is a Defender update. I posted a video a couple of weeks ago, I had quite a lot of views. Many of you, my subscribers, have actually come from that video. So I thought it'd only be fair if I give you guys a bit of an update as to where I'm at. Um, as you know, in the last this video, I had a handbrake issue. Uh, that was rectified. Uh, the garage basically put a new handbrake in. It, it had basically got stiffened up. Uh, so, uh, so, so they did that. But also, I was, I was having some issues with it starting. So, essentially, what they've done is they've put in a new starter motor and they've put in a new alternator as well. So, the alternator was charging at I think it was like 13.2 or something like that. But now it's charging at 13. Point, uh, sorry, 14.2. Uh, the garage told me that it's meant to be between 13.8 and 14. Four or something like that uh, charge rate, so uh, it, 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 it wasn't it wasn't doing very well. Um, but yeah, they put a new starter motor in, they put a new alternator in, and it's starting absolutely fine now. There are a few other issues. What I'll do is I'll give you a, a little bit of a walk around now, just to show you the Defender, and just show you all of its imperfections and issues and things that I need to be solving over the next. Uh, God knows how many years. Um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here we have it. So this is an EY number plate, uh, which enthusiasts may know is Anglesey, which is over there in the distance, the Isle of Anglesey. Innes Mon, we call it in, in, in Wales. Um, and apparently uh, the Defender was actually, the first sketches were actually uh, drawn out on Anglesey for the Defender many years ago. So the Defender it came with so many issues, but I, I, I bought it from Leeds and I just wanted to bring it home really. I, I sort of fell in love with the number plate, if you know what I mean. Um, so it was, it was a bit of a silly move <laughs> financially, but um, yeah, my heart was telling me just to just to get it, just to bring it from Leeds back home and uh, try and sort of restore it as best I can. So I've had, um, I'll try and open this if I can, one-handed. Two seconds, I'll just get the front open. There we go. So this Defender is a uh, 2.5 turbo diesel with an LT77 uh, gearbox. However, I have had a 200 TDI retrofitted into it. Um, the 200, uh, sorry, the 2.5 TD was just too weak and t t too slow for this to be my um, my main car in this day and age. Um, so, yeah, I went on some forums online and had a chat with a few people and they re recommended really I, sh I should be doing this. I had two options. I could either retrofit a Discovery 200 TDI or a Defender. Um, on eBay, the Discoveries were quite cheap. The Defender 200 TDIs were a bit more rare and I had to pay, I think it was about £1,300. But it came with another LT77 gearbox as well. So that was good. Um, I've currently got the engine on the back of my trailer and I've got the gearbox just down there under some tarpaulin. So I'm, I'm not sure. I think what I might do is resell um, the engine. So if any of you are interested, uh, just let me know. Um, but the LT77, um, I may have a go at uh, sort of taking it apart and uh, seeing if I can, uh, yeah, just, just, just basically refurbish it to make it uh, sort of as good as new because I am having a few issues with my gearbox in here. Reverse, for example, is really difficult to find. I have to double clutch and there's a kind of a knack to it, uh, which is a little bit frustrating. So another issue that I have with this Defender is that the body is just not straight at all. Now, when I got it, the doors were hanging really, really low. Now, I tried the old trick of taking the doors off and, and trying to sort of like bring them up. And uh, I tried to bring up the, this as well, um, but it just wasn't, wasn't working. Uh, 
this, which basically leads me to think that there is an issue with the bulkhead. But I took it to uh, the garage who retrofitted the 200 TDI uh, and basically said, is there anything you can do about it? And they've done their best. But they've said that the problem is that basically all of the, the body is uh, just warped and misshapen. Um, and they think the best thing for me to do if I really want to uh, have a have a nice looking defender and have everything uh, sort of looking straight is literally buy a whole new body for it, lift this off and put it on. I don't know what you guys think. Um, maybe let me know in the comment section. Right. So I've had the a new chassis put on it. I took it for its MOT. Uh, last year and I took it to a garage who said the chassis is screwed. They told me uh, I need to put a new chassis on it. I said okay. They put a new chassis on it and did a proper botch job. Um, really what they should have done and my, my, my last garage told me this was straightened out the body as best they could at that point but they didn't. They just lifted the whole thing off and put it back on and it just was awful. So um, the garage I'm using at the moment, and I'll name them, they're Llyn Land Rover Services in uh, Absoch, uh, Llan Bedrock, sorry. Um, they they uh, have, have done their best for me, so I, yeah, I do appreciate that. But yeah, I got a new chassis for it, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good thing. I think long-term goal is to get a new galvanised bulkhead, uh, but the garage recommended that I just keep this one for as long as I can kind of thing just to kind of stretch the costs out a little bit because defenders can be very very expensive so yeah so this is it so we need a new rear door I've got one I've got a galvanized rear door and I've also got a uh, wheel carrier as well I have a feeling that the panels for this Defender have been bought in bits because if you look here, this shouldn't be square, it should be at an angle, which leads me to think that this used to be a, uh, 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 didn't have a top to it. Um, but yeah, I don't know what you guys think, let me know. So that's it basically. Going inside the engine, you will see that this snorkel is not actually attached. So somebody in the past has decided to put this on, probably with a view to connecting it, but hasn't. I'm thinking of taking it off. Again, let me know in the comments section what you think, please. That'd be great. So yeah, so that's everything basically on the outside. I'll just take you inside now. Okay, so here we have the inside. I think everything is original. I mean, we've even got the ashtray in it as well, which is pretty cool. Apparently these are quite rare. Um, so I don't smoke, <laughs> used to, but I don't smoke. Um, but I think it's nice to have it there actually pretty cool um these original things just uh, are really nice now the doors because the doors weren't closing properly the door cards were torn and scratched and all sorts so i've taken them off and i've realized that there's a lot of things i need to do with these doors um th this defender leaks it leaks badly i'm getting water in all the time and living where i live it's a complete nightmare to be honest with you um, I just come in and it's wet and steamy in here. When it rains, it's really difficult to drive. Everything's all steamy. My heater's not great. Um, they put a new heater uh, heater in when they um, retrofitted the TDI, but still, in these old Defenders, they're, they're just not good at all. I think that you can get these little blow holes that um 
sort of angle this way as well to, to, to clear the side. I might have a look at that at some point. Um, if any of you have got any ideas for that, that'd be great. Now, the actual dash here, there's, it's torn. As you can see, sorry, my camera is so bad. Right at the door, actually. Everything's all torn. It all needs putting on correctly. I've also put in, because I've got two young kids, I've also put in some Puma seats in the back. Which is cool. I had to buy one of these uh, little panel things here so that they could be fitted. But yeah, I've essentially turned this in from a two seater into a four seater, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So I think I mentioned before in my last video. There's an issue actually when I start the vehicle up, which I'll do now. But as you can hear, it starts a lot better now. But when I try and give it a, a rev, it's just not waking up. And that means when I put it into gear, it won't quite move. Sometimes it stalls. So what I have to do is just rev it a little bit just to get the revs up there we go and we're up now i think some of you have said that could be the fuel pump please if you've got any ideas on that let me know another issue that we have at the moment with this defender is the reverse light is not fitted also the fog light is not fitted now as you know fog light not fitted means it fails an MOT MOT is due in March so I, I know that I need to get that sorted I'm going to try and get the reverse light put in as well um, what else so the final thing is that the whole vehicle had uh, sort of a central locking alarm system when I got it which wasn't working correctly the garage who retrofitted the 200 TDI for me I asked them to disconnect it and take it out because it was rubbish so they did that but what it means is the doors don't lock at the moment what I've done is I've bought new locks I've bought a new rear door I've bought door cards I've bought a new glass because this one here for some reason is sort of misty and I have absolute nightmares looking out of it when it rains so I've got new glass uh yes yeah, so new cards and I've also got new seals as well to see whether I can sort out this leaking issue that I'm having so as it's a nice day today I'm going to try and give that a go um and I'll record it <laughs> it's not a how-to video because I don't really know what I'm doing but I'll record it anyway and show you the end result. So yeah, um, if you're viewing this for the first time and you want to follow my journey, my, my, my channel's mostly about um, building a homestead up in the Welsh mountains. But I'm, I'm going to have kind of a, a Defender series as I slowly restore it. Um, so if you're interested, please like and subscribe. And any advice that you have is greatly appreciated uh, because, uh, you know, defenders are you need to build up years of knowledge and experience and i'm quite new to all of this so yep yeah, thanks guys
Okay, so I've taken everything apart. I need to take this out to remove the locks. I've got some new locks. Uh, I need to connect up the uh, inside uh, door lock button to this. Put one of these little things in as well. Um, I've got the new glass, I've got all the new seals. I've taken out these seals on the inside. It looks like I just need to screw them in. I've saved these. Luckily, I didn't buy any. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we're, we're nearly there. it's all back in I can just see when I put that seal on there I can just see water just trickling through it but I guess that's what these little holes are for at the bottom to capture any water and, and for them to come out somewhere I don't know I think defender doors just leak I mean, that's just what they do but yeah let's carry on I need to get these little things out of here as well somehow Sorry, my camera is just awful. So, yep, let's crack on. Took a lot longer than expected. Everything always 
does. Got a brand new window, a nice clear one, much better than the last. We've got new seals here. We now have a locking door. This is a major milestone, I think, by the way. There we go. We've got a new door card. I'm not too sure what these are in the corner, but I will have a little look and see what I can find. But yeah, it's looking good. The inner trims, the, the uh, window receivers are in. Oh. And now when we're in, the door locks. This is a major milestone for me. I'm really, really pleased. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As I say, any advice, welcome. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.